should do an intro really, sure. Yeah. Right, well, this is um, a new episode. No, 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 let's start again. Can I try? Yeah, remember what it's called? Welcome to Behind the Candles with me, Claire Lane, and my colleague, Kieran Cody. Colleague? We are. I feel like I've been demoted. Okay, so today we're reviewing beers. We might not do beer reviews every episode, but today, um, sticking with the theme of my channel. Pardon me. And the first beer we're going to review is this beer by Electric Bear Brewing Company called Drifting American Pale Ale. Um, I'll put a, um, a little picture of it on the side of the screen, but I don't think you can see it there. But it's a really nice design, what do you think? I really like the, the, um, the thing. <laughs> the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the design of this can. I really like the colours. I think it sort of, um, it appeals a little bit to, um, you know, to the ladies. Um, it appeals to me. It matches, it also, it matches my glass which is unicorns and it looks a bit like unicorn vomit <laughs> so i'm quite yeah i'm quite happy with that yeah well i just think it looks very attractive i like the texture <laughs> and it, it's sort of like it feels like paper but it's not it's like a plastic almost but yeah i do i'd like to have the cap asmr oh god's sake i'm sorry <laughs> this isn't an asmr channel i'm sorry i really like the cam it's pretty and it looks like unicorn sick. <laughs> yeah. And I've got unicorns on my glass, so. You may not realise we've actually had a few beers before this video. <laughs> I'm totally sober. <laughs> totally sober, bro. I'm so glad I had a drink. Do you know what? I can't actually do that voice people do when they pretend they're drunk. Well, what's that? People put that voice on, don't they, when they pretend they're drunk? You just did it. What was that? I can't do it. <laughs> I try. Vizz, vizz, vizz. Vizz, vizz, vizz. <laughs> How do people do that? I, I suppose I have to be properly drunk. I'm a method actor. Oh, yes. That is a good beer. I remember it now. I've had this beer before. Straight away, the smell, the aroma. Do you want to have a go? Have a mm. sniff before have we... Have a go, mate. Have a go. Have a go. Before pour it in the glass. It smells like... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to wear it. <laughs> it you smells just... like pink grapefruit. Oh, dear. <laughs> Shall I pour first? Yeah. After it's been up your nose? <laughs> Some free bogeys with that. My nose is wet. I'm a happy dog. Right, um, I think the rest is yours. We're sharing. We're sharing. Sharing is caring. Sharing oh, is caring. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> sharing is caring. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a really good beer. Straight away, as soon as you open a can, it's just. What brewery is it? Uh, Electric Bear. I think, um, if I remember right, they're from Bath. Yeah. Um, which is down south, isn't it? Bath. 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 Well, I think she's southern, so she calls it Bar. Oh. It's good. Well, I like. Um, I like the fact that it's got one, two, three, four. It's only got five ingredients, which I think is really nice because if something is simple and good, then you you've hit the nail on the head there, really. Actually, for a hoppy beer, it's not the worst. The worst. Uh, worst. Oh, that sounds awful. It's actually quite nice for a hoppy beer, for me personally. It's not a struggle to drink for me. It's on the, um, it's definitely tastes like a session beer. And it does like, apart from fruit salad, it does, really does smell like weed. <laughs> weed. Mm. Well, I suppose the hop plant is related to the cannabis plant. Mm. So, yeah. Factoid of the day. Yeah. Bollocks. Sorry, I wasn't saying you talk about. I've just I need to burp and yeah. well, I have potty mouth. <laughs> Sorry. This is a family channel. 
you know. <laughs> we're families that enjoy beers. Chin chin. <laughs> Just realised what we haven't done actually. What's that? Yeah, so you like the beer, even though it's a pale hoppy beer. Mm -hmm. uh, she prefers the stouts and whatnot. But what would you rate this pale beer, Claire, out of 10? Two. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, let me have um Because actually I do like it. I would rate this, and I, I know that this is a nice beer. I can tell it's a nice beer, but it's not for me. And if I liked pale beers, I would probably rate this as about an eight because I really like the texture. I think it's really smooth, it smells lovely. But taste-wise for me, I'm gonna give this a four, which is actually quite high for, mm. it's high for a hoppy beer for me because usually I wouldn't even touch a hoppy beer. Um, my actual, my go-to beer in a pub if they've not got anything else on that dark is actually a landlord and that's probably the lightest that I will happily go that I actually quite enjoy. pale, landlord. Mm. Yeah, but it's not. It's like pale brown. Um, I think, think I'd give this beer. Oh, um, I can't decide. Um, probably six and a half out of ten. No, seven out of ten. I'm feeling generous. You're feeling um, generous? I am. Mm, that surprises me you've given it a seven and a half because that's a very no, high. I didn't say seven and a half. What did you say? Seven. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got cotton wool in my ears. <laughs> seven out of ten. In future videos, we could have a scoreboard here. Yeah. Do you know what they did on Top Gear with the racetrack? Yeah. And we could have beers. Oh my god. We could have like 20 of them here and they could be the top 20. Yes. That's a really good idea. I don't idea. know how I would score it though. I mean, like, should we time how long it takes me to run around the garden after I drank one? <laughs>